Deputy Nolan. Person, I suppose, look, as a rural TD from the constituency of Lee Shoffley, I, like many rural TDs, am very, very concerned about, you know, the impact of, of what's coming down the tracks and what's being imposed on us. And certainly from, you know, the impact, the economic impact report done by KPMG, commissioned by the Farmers' Journal, it showed us clearly uh, what lies ahead, the destruction of Irish farming and the family farm if a blunt instrument like what is being proposed is used. And I suppose my question relates to the fact that why isn't all of the good work done in terms of the sequestration of carbon? Why isn't that accounted for? I mean, we have grassland, we have hedgerows and we have forestry. And, uh, you know, to even to incentivise farmers to get more involved in afforestation, wouldn't that make sense? And wouldn't it tick that box? And I know that... Uh, Dr. Mittlener, you mentioned the fact that beef farmers, that we don't know uh, how much they're, uh, you know, in terms of the sequestration of carbon, we don't know how much is, is, is being done there. And would you, my question relates to, I suppose, do you feel that an assessment needs to be carried out in terms of, of the positive work that's been done here uh, by beef farmers in sequestering uh, carbon before a blunt instrument or a calculation be decided? Because I think any pragmatic and logical person would say, please do the assessment first, rather than plunging a whole sector uh, in, into chaos and, and, and into the dark. Yeah. So I, I'd just like to ask your opinion on that. Um, my next question relates to, you know, the global population is set to treble. Uh, we have a war in Ukraine. We can't get certain food products, we all know, because of that war. Why isn't there a special case being made for agriculture in the EU? In light of the fact that there are issues around food, food security and farming organisations such as the IFA have said that, you know, any, any unfair calculation will threaten food security. Um, you know, why, why isn't there common sense here and some logic? And John, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Do you feel that our MEPs out there need to fight to make a special case for agriculture and, and for it to be done across Europe? Yeah, but well, look, yeah. The, the special case is one thing, but, you know, the, the facts are, are so important here. I mean, the, the removals by Irish forestry are huge, but there was a paper produced last week by Gary Lanigan of Chagask, and in, in the Irish, in the inventory, you will find that they say that Irish mineral soils remove 2.3 million tonnes a year. Gary Ladigan's research has shown that that is an underestimation by about seven times. Irish mineral soils, according to Gary Ladigan, are about 15 million tonnes a year. The inventory says 2.3. Now, he also <coughs> mentioned that the research on peatlands is not completed yet, but he thinks they are overestimated by a factor of at least two. So they have 8.5 million tonnes in for em emissions by peatlands. It's probably near to four, but there's no actual figures on that. But the figures by Gary Lanigan are out and they're current and they're correct and they're massive. That's 1.4 1 .4 to 1.5 tonnes per acre per annum being removed by Irish grassland farmers. And if you look at research in, in places like uh, Florida <laughs> and um, Georgia, where they're dealing with very depleted soils, but they're doing 3.6 tonnes per acre per annum. And their method of combating climate change is intensive grass-based dairy. That's extraordinary. They say the way to take, to take carbon out of the air is convert the, 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 the arable land to grass and put intensive <coughs> grazing animals on it. And, we're, and that's what we're doing. Mm. So I think, I think we're in a win-win sure, situation. Could I add just... Uh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Win? Sorry. Can you just answer the questions that uh, Deputy Nolan put there? Sure, I'd, I'd be happy to. I, I think I just wanted to, on, on your first point uh, about um, rural constituencies, I just wanted to sort of r remind you of uh, Dr. Mitlerner's point about how we, we don't need farmers to feel threatened by this. In fact, it's, it, it could easily be seen as an opportunity for farming. Um, and it, it's, it, we're sort of saddled with this rather misperception of conflict because of the, the, the incorrect way in which we measure the impact of, of farming uh, on, on, on climate. And so, um, you know, notwithstanding all these other accounting and, and measurement issues uh, that have been raised, th this, is, this is a problem we don't need to have. And if we actually um, measure the impact of the farmers on, in your constituency on climate, on global temperature, rather than on this global warming footprint, or this, this carbon footprint, um, uh, you know, I, I think 
I think farmers would be would be reassured by the results, um, and, and 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 I think that would be a very a useful thing for for, for for Ireland to do, and indeed to show the rest of the European Union um, as, as a way forward. I, I think there may be other farming communities in the European Union who haven't really perhaps got their minds around this issue as much as the Irish. I, I, I dare speculate here, but uh, maybe Irish farmers are a bit ahead of some of. Mm other countries in the European Union in terms of thinking about this issue. So you, know, you could really do a favour to your, your European partners and, and, and across Europe by po pointing out that just with this simple additional piece of information, impact on global temperature, you can do a great deal to diffuse the animosity in this whole discussion. Okay, Dr. Minson, I, I completely agree, and I want to add this. Uh, when it comes to methane, there are, of course, sources that we're all aware of cattles, uh, enteric emissions, their manure, uh, and other issues. So there are sources, but there are also sinks. And to me, uh, who has been to Ireland twice over the last few years and talked about these topics several times, um, I want to emphasize that it is important for a country like Ireland that is largely uh, pasture-based to know under what conditions throughout your geography uh, lands uh, can trap and capture carbon to what extent? Uh, at some point, carbon is, uh, is plateauing, carbon capture is plateauing, no longer increasing. Uh, there are some lands that capture more than others, but I think it's very important that you assess not just the sources, but also the sinks, and how you can amplify the importance of your sinks, how you can increase soil carbon sequestration, for example, through improved pasture management, uh, grazing management, and so on. I think that's very important. I emphasized the need for that two years ago when I visited, uh, and again last, uh, when, whenever it was, two weeks ago. Okay. Um, yeah. can, can I just come in um, as a concluding comment, please? Okay, Carla. Yeah, no, I'd just like to thank you all for your comments, but certainly there, there is a problem, like in the current debate, farmers are being demonised and scapegoated, unfortunately. And there needs to be, I think, a change in terms of mindset, because they are playing their role, believe it or not, in terms of protecting well, uh, our environment, yeah, but, but that's not recognised. Yeah, with respect, these, we have brought in these men today for just, uh, as yeah, ladies, yeah. sorry. No, but it was just to take up on the so point of, of, of yeah. the misperception that that yeah, point... Yeah, but, but like this, we, we I'm brought in these witnesses... I'm just concluding, I'm just... We yeah. brought in these witnesses, these I understand. witnesses to answer questions no, I on the calculations and, and meeting. I, yeah. I understand, Chairperson, yeah. I have the briefing on front of me and I spoke on the calculations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spoke on that specifically, yeah, yeah, but I just want to end on that point. Mm -hmm. that, that's a point that we're all trying to get across mm -hmm. as rural TDs. Mm -hmm. You know, I did speak to the to the briefing note, yeah. very much so. I accept that. And, and I'd like to, to thank you all for, for your time. <laughs>